Hey guys, so today I'm going to go ahead and create this beautiful look with just drugstore products. So, just keep on watching. Using drugs, wait, does Morphe count as drugstore? Because I'm going to be using my Morphe brushes and my sponge from e.l.f. It's dirty. But I'm applying it on my face, so I'm good with it. You know, I don't got no problem. So, let's get started. Every makeup look, I love applying a face mask. So today I will be applying this one. We'll also be putting some eye patches just for the fun of it. Also, I love the cooling effect underneath my eyes. And I just love prepping my skin before doing my makeup because I feel... Once you have a nice skincare underneath, your makeup looks more flawless when applied. You know what I mean? I got black, I got white, what you want? Hop outside and go say hop up in a fan, uh, I know I'm about to- see, it's gonna be great for my skin because if you guys notice, I do have like discoloration as I'm getting older. So... I need to get more like serums. Love applying a moisturizer because I just love my skin feeling moisturized and hydrated. I do have combination skin. On my T-zone, it's mostly oily and the outside it's dry. But this doesn't make my skin oily and it's very rich and thick, which I love for winter. And since it's been very cold, it's just perfect. And it doesn't disrupt my makeup. It's sold in Sephora. But I do want to count it as a drugstore because it is cheap. It's $10 for such a great moisturizer that has hyaluronic acid. Next, I wanted to show you guys an SPF that I've been using. It does leave a glassy like skin look, which is great. For having like that glowy, hydrating base. And it's clear. The primer. Now, I haven't tried this yet. And I'm super excited because it is infused with vitamin C. Which is great for your skin, just like I said. And the fact that it's skincare plus like makeup. It's amazing. So that's why I had to get it. So let's see how this works. It looks like this. I can't even smell it because I can smell SPF on my face. So I love doing my face based makeup first because I don't really wear eyeshadows. Very hydrating too. And like pretty like thick but not really. This Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade fair 10 all-time favorite i've been using it ever since i bought it i just can't stop using it because it's really good it's affordable with a Fit Me press powder. It's really good. Just out everything like. Look at this with the concealer on, and then this just with powder. Like, did my eye even moved up? I don't know. But oh, it just gave me like a eye like lifting effect. This concealer looking a little pale on my skin, huh? So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with an e.l.f. no budge cream eyeshadow. Yes. Cause I've seen on TikTok that this is a pool. This is a good cool tone contour. 
and I really want to do cool tone contour because my skin is a little bit lighter and I believe it'll look better on my skin because I don't like when the bronzer looks orange well I've noticed that it's been looking orange so think about this you gotta work really very very fast so it's meant to be an eyeshadow but today it's contour so I just do you notice anything different? I contoured my nose. I'm sorry, but like my camera and this lining is not really doing justice. I don't go down here, I go more higher. But so far, pretty good. I love this blush, super convenient and easy to use. Like that. It's pink, so it looks very well with my complexion. It is a bit sticky, but that's fine because I do apply powder on top and that helps with the stickiness. Of course, this doesn't really last that long. So if you're going out for a long time, this is not going to last that long. I don't have powder blush that is drugstore. So this is the Wear Beauty. I know I kind of cheated, but I think it's a little like brighter than the other one, right? Or like more pigmented. Right, wet and Wild is always the way to go. It's really good for like what five dollars i don't know i don't remember <laughs> it's really good i love the golden crown one but this one is called precious petals and it's brand new because the formula is amazing and it just looks so natural Mm, neutral soft I don't really love that for the inner of my corner I love more of a white more bold highlight so this one from Colourpop it's very popular you probably you probably heard of it flexitarian this like if you put that on here is like not natural like it's so brightening of oh, no budge cream eyeshadow so this is how it looks i love it it's so pigmented so use it to do my most for my lips too or should i just use a gloss let's just do my lips damn my lips naturally probably cricket but looking good i'm gonna add this lip gloss from elf it's super sparkly it reminds me of like the diamond quartz one from rihanna fenty beauty so since that is expensive and elf has a similar one damn actually feels nice on the lips i'm gonna do my mascara 
this is the final look guys i hope you guys love it i love it i feel like i look really good and that honestly you shouldn't be like i don't need to be breaking my bank when i can get really good products from the drugstore but we all need that so i am glad of course there's always some products that aren't as good and some products that are above and beyond like the fit me powder i love it so much um something i didn't really like is the concealer i don't know like in person it looks a little bit too much and i just love my closest concealer because i feel like it matches really nicely with my complexion but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to thumbs up subscribe and comment down below and i'll see you on the next one bye so this is how my eyelashes look right i forgot to mention that i couldn't find an eyelash curler which like for this mascara to be looking like this i think it's pretty good it's the maybelline it's really good and i use my sister's I'm going to go ahead and go to Target and get myself one black. This one is brown, but yeah.